Some people theorize about a one-world government or maybe global citizenship. You know, some time off in the future. The loss of national and individual sovereignty drives many conversations. Though, as people debate, those at the United Nations have already accomplished the new world order, along with the conversion of each of us into United Nations nationals. Stay tuned for the evidence. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea. A new world order. A new world order. A new world order. A new world order. When looking through the lens of historical legal documentation, we find all kinds of interesting facts, like that the American Civil War never ended because of the lack of a peace treaty between the North and the South. The United States has persisted to be in a state of war and martial law from the Civil War since 1865 due to the lack of a peace treaty. This is because a peace treaty would acknowledge the South as a legitimate government and the Northern Yankees couldn't allow any legitimacy of the Southern Dixies at all. This led me to consider the peace treaties of World War II as possibly very important, so let's dive in. First, the United Nations Charter, stemming from the Allies' victory, creating the UN on October 24th of 1945, is very important, but is not a document declaring peace, nor is it a treaty. It is a corporate charter. At the end of World War II, for the Germans and Japanese, there were no peace treaties. They unconditionally surrendered. This led to the transfer of belligerent rights to the United Nations, though not necessarily the ceasing of World War II, similar to the United States Civil War. Benito Mussolini's fascist Italy, on the other hand, had an extensive peace treaty with the Allies in 1947 called the Paris Peace Treaty, and this treaty is very important. Before World War II, 18 years earlier, in 1929, through the Lateran Treaty, Fascist Italy was recognized and condoned by the Vatican in reciprocal exchange for their recognition as the modern international sovereign papal city-state corporation. The World War II allies used the papal recognition of Italy as their opportunity to receive their own papal recognition of the UN by usurpation of Italy as a UN member state. The Paris Peace Treaty of 1947 grants the land and the people of Italy to the new Italian UN member state for management. The Vatican recognition of the United Nations started in 1947 where the Paris Peace Treaty furthermore prioritizes United Nations nationals over Italian nationals. Yup, you heard that right. United Nations nationals, United Nations nationals. Earthlings. The UN is the one global New World Order government and they have their own citizenship. UN nationals are defined as everyone in any UN member state. This definition is right here in the Paris Peace Treaty of 1947 under Part 7, United Nations Property in Italy, Article 78, Section 9A, page 163, it states, United Nations nationals means individuals who are nationals of any of the United Nations or corporations or associations organized under the laws of any of the United Nations. As covered in past videos, all state and country nationals are technically stateless due to the lack of de jure non-corporate governance and the United Nations national is imposed as our global government remedy. If you believe yourself to be a US citizen or even an American national, you're not. By customary international law, you are an international legal personality called a United Nations national. There is only one global citizenship across Earth through the United Nations. Indeed, most birth certificates globally end up at the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation in 55 Water Street, New York City for United Nations use and are financially traded on the international stock markets. You are their stock. We have all been made commercial property of the United Nations. Chinese, Indians, Russians, Brazilians, Japanese, Canadians, Germans, French, British don't exist. We are all actually United Nations nationals operating under UN global citizenship. There are no country citizens since the Paris Peace Treaty of 1947 and the conversion of all countries into UN member state corporations. None. Citizens and nationals are antiquated and obsolete. UN nationals supersede all prior definitions for being customary international law agreed upon by all UN member states. The UN tries to propagandize the world that they are merely an intergovernmental agency when they are so much more. The most telling portion of the Paris Peace Treaty is under Part 3, War Criminals, Article 45. 
The United Nations is referred to as an actual fully formed government separate from the Allied Nations, and it is given the authority to prosecute international legal personalities for crimes against the peace, or if UN nationals collaborate with the enemy. Worse, anyone defined as an enemy is considered a UN national for the purposes of prosecution. All courts globally have been converted into UN competent national tribunals, military tribunals. The United Nations seems to be the continuation of wartime belligerent rights and they repurposed prosecuting war criminals for use against regular people. Ordinary flesh and blood people are treated as enemies and war criminals through the UN legal system court tribunal franchises. That would be your local courtrooms. Each member state is its own warehouse of United Nations nationals under management of its own UN tribunals posing as courtrooms. The UN legal system works on corporate policies called statutes which aren't actual laws but only have the force of law upon UN nationals. These UN nationals are corporations unto themselves designed to represent the human within the UN legal system like a game piece on a game board. Statutes only apply to the game piece. As proof that the UN has taken over all courtrooms, here is Washtenaw County Prosecutor Brian Mackey claiming his masters are the United Nations. Just like Michigan is simply a corporate, you know what the difference between the state of Michigan and the territory of Michigan. Is this correct? Do you know the difference? Uh, probably not the way that you do, because you seem to have studied this in some detail, which is great. Okay, so you're saying that ignorance of the law is an excuse. Is that correct? Uh, I believe that that is not an excuse, no. Okay, so then you need to know these things. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. Well, I'll have to talk to my masters at the United Nations about it. The UN controls the breaching of peace rather than bringing actual peace to the world. This peculiarity seems to correlate with the redefinition of enemy combatant from the U.S. Civil War. The Trading with the Enemy Act of 1917 changed the definition of civil war enemy combatant so as to be so broad as to envelop all sovereign Americans. One effect of being converted into a UN national in our daily lives is that the policy enforcers treat us as guilty until proven innocent within their legal fictional corporate control matrix. Another artifact is that the US Constitution is relegated to the dustbin of history. The UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights is the highest law for UN nationals. Episode 7 covers that in more detail. All countries have been replaced by the United Nations and are doing the business of the United Nations. There are no citizens, only UN nationals across the globe. And here we have it folks. The UN has taken over the planet through wartime powers decades ago. The United Nations claims to be the one world government and you are a United Nations national simply by claiming to be a citizen of your own country. Your national citizenship is only a specialized version of a UN national. The New World Order globalists took over the world in 1945 with the expansion of World War II upon all humanity through the United Nations. By being a citizen of your own country, you are perpetuating the globalist agenda to degrade human beings into legal slaves, property of the United Nations. Everything legal has been weaponized against us. Still, the United Nations government requires the consent of the people, and we revoke our consent. Like, share, subscribe, and notify.